I'm Tom from DIY Life Tech, and today we're going to take a look at how to change the batteries in your first alert smoke detector or smoke detector and carbon monoxide alarm. And this is what you're going to do if you start hearing this beep up on your ceiling. Take it off the ceiling, we're going to change out those batteries. So our first step here is going to be to find the battery compartment. It varies a little bit on each model, but basically we're looking for this little sliding part that pulls out. And it's got this little piece we can go ahead and pull. I'm going to just give that a solid pull, pull that battery compartment out. And keep in mind, it doesn't come all the way out on most smoke detectors. It's a little confusing. It feels like it should go out further, but on mine, it just comes out about that far. But it's enough that we can get in, and we're just going to reach into this compartment here, and we're just going to pop each of those batteries out. Take out those old batteries from our smoke detector. Now let's go ahead and get out some new batteries. Okay, so I've got my new batteries ready to go. I'm going to use Duracell batteries, which is what I had in there before. And what we're going to do is take a look at the chart on the smoke detector um, because it's a little confusing. So you can see the back of this, these are both flat. Now normally that would mean that you'd put the flat side of the battery facing that flat little metal piece on there. Um, but in this case, actually the batteries are going to go in in opposite directions. So you want to look at the little chart. You can see here it shows the positive side facing in here and it shows the negative side facing um, out on this part. So we want to put the batteries in so that they match what's on this little chart. So first step, we're going to take the positive side, which is the little dot on the battery here, and we're going to go ahead and insert it so that it lines up on that chart. Then we're going to take our other battery and we're going to do exactly the opposite. So it's in this case, it's just going to face uh, in towards the detector. Again, just lining it up with that chart. Let's get them both in there so that they're facing the right way. And then we're going to go ahead and just pop them in to that compartment. It's a little bit, again, tricky to kind of fit it. You have to kind of maneuver them in and then pop them in place. So we're good. You can see it matches with the chart where it shows that the uh, plus side is facing in. It is. And this one's facing the opposite direction. Again, check on your specific smoke detector because it's going to vary by model. Now our uh, next step is we're just going to solidly push this so that it clicks back in. And when that happens, if we've done this properly, we're going to hear a nice beep that confirms we've done it correctly. So let's go ahead and do this. There we go. There's the beep. Indicates the smoke alarm is ready to go. You can test it if you'd like by pressing that button. I'm not going to because it makes kind of an ear splitting sound. So I'm just going to let it be. Um, but that beep should indicate that we're good to go. And then we can mount this back up on our ceiling. And that's how we change the batteries in our first alert smoke detector or CO alarm. If you found this helpful in any way, please do subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it.